What's going on? I'm Cam Best. I just bought Stature, and here's the deck that I'm playing her in. Now, before we get to the deck, Stature is a five cost, seven power card that if your opponent has discarded a card this game, it costs one. Uh, important note, this persists through Wave's effect. So if your opponent plays Wave, Stature will still cost one. This makes her an efficient counter to the Death Wave archetype if you are running into that. So let's jump into the deck that I'm playing her in. I have put her in a fairly straightforward control shell. The fundamental thing that we're trying to do with this deck is to play Black Bolt on turn five, make your opponent discard a card, and then play Arrow and Stature on turn six, because Arrow will, you know, win us the game. Stature will sort of prevent, will, 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 Stature will win us a lane, Arrow will win us the rest of it, right? We pull any potential plays that they make over to the arrow lane, swing another lane with Stature. That should probably win us the game. I've also included a Zabu package in this deck uh, with White Queen, Shang-Chi, and Shuri. Shang-Chi is sort of like a backup arrow where he is going to swing a lane, so you can go Black Bolt into Shang-Chi and Stature at the end of the game. And the rest of the cards in the deck are just your classic good cards that you want to be playing in a general game of Marvel Snap. Uh, you're focused on taking priority and then slamming the door shut with Arrow, Stature, Black Bolt. That's pretty much the thing. Now, I think this will look a little bit weird to some people. Uh, I do think it has some important negative matchups that should be highlighted. I don't think it can handle Thanos. Thanos is doing things that are too unfair for this deck to actually deal with. And I don't know if it can handle Shuri especially if Shuri is playing Cosmo in armor. You kind of don't have a lot of outs to that unless you can get priority and get Arrow in their lane where the big guy is. But if they have a Cosmo there, you're kind of in trouble. Outside of that, though, this deck has some legitimately good matchups. One thing to point out, though, is that uh, Sandman just got buffed. Not a great card to see if you're playing this deck, because uh, you are trying to play multiple cards on turn six. So if someone is ramping into Sandman, you will run into trouble. That said, we were pretty successful in our matchup against Death Wave, which will be shown right after this. And I do think Death Wave is sort of the, you must be this tall to ride of the metagame. So we're at least tall enough to ride. I will also say, though, in terms of should I buy Stature, Right now, I would say the jury is out. I do not think that I would recommend buying her for 6,000 tokens right now. She's a good card. She's probably the best Series 5 card we've had since Darkhawk, but that's a very low bar, considering a lot of the Series 5 cards we've had since Darkhawk are pretty bad or actively not worth 6,000 tokens. This is what I've been playing her in. There are some other builds you can try out that I thought were a little less consistent. You know me, I like to build for consistency, for being able to play games of Marvel Snap often, not necessarily for big snap eight cubers or and retreating a bunch. So you could try her with Moon Girl if you'd like. One note is that I don't think She-Hulk goes with her, which is tough because you want to play Moon Girl and She-Hulk together a lot but you really want to be playing Black Bolts on turn five, which means you're not really going to have the ability to play a bunch of cheap She-Hulks on turn six. There is also, I suppose, the outside chance that you could try that in a Magic deck. Maybe that frees you up a little bit, but I, I don't think it does because you play the Magic, then you play the Black Bolts. You're still not playing a bunch of free She-Hulks, right? So this is the shell I like it in the most. We also tried just... We tried a bunch of different backup stature enablers, but what I ended up settling on was instead of playing backup stature enablers, I'm just playing Shuri and using her as a big body when I don't draw Black Bolt. Like, this isn't too far off from a deck like Death Wave that needs a specific card on turn five to do the broken thing and can still sort of scam it out otherwise. So it's a reasonable deck in this metagame, but I don't think you spend 6,000 tokens for reasonable. That would be basically my argument here. Uh, this has been Cam Best. Remember to hit that like, subscribe, turn on those notifications, do the things that give me dopamine, do the things that make my numbers go like this. Uh, I'm a big fan of those things. Uh, I will see you in the next one and enjoy the gameplay. Thanks. Cam Best in a snap.
Is Sandman good in Thanos? Probably not. No, no, no Bucky shit for you. <laughs> Wait, fuck! No! <laughs> That's illegal. Oh, my ordering! Oh my god. Whatever, it's fine. 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 It's totally fine. It's fine. 100% fine. The finest. Never been anything but fine. Oh, it's not fine anymore. Huh. So, if you're them, you want to, like... No Boom Boom cards. So, it's like... This? Ha-ha! <laughs> we actually did something. I know you really can't say if stature is very good or not, or what are your thoughts? Probably... A reasonable card in a vacuum? Perhaps not. now is not the time, would be, would be what I would say. I do not know if now is the time. We're going to make the exact same play as last time. No fucking Buckies. No Buckies. You get no Bucky value. It's not real. No Buckies. Damn it, they got the Bucky. <laughs> Shit. It's a nightmare. Talk about nightmares. That's the She-Hulk, right? Oh, intriguing, actually. Very large black agar boltagon. Okay. I was just gonna stack this lane, is what my my plan was just put stature, Shang Chi, and Iceman all in the same lane and just say you can't beat that. But maybe it's wrong. I saved Bucky. I did what Captain America couldn't and saved Bucky Barnes. No wave, no win. There is... This is kind of why I'm not a big Death Wave fan. The reverse end screen is tough. Does Taskmaster go in here too? I do not believe so. Oh, we don't have priority this time. We can't do the Bucky thing. Fuck. That's not going to stop me from trying it. <laughs> you can't make me not try this. I'm going to try it anyway. Maybe you don't have this shit. Play Polaris and Oscorp. Oh my god. Wait, chat. Are we doing it? Okay, we're not doing it. <laughs> 
We're not, we're, we're confirmed not doing it. Confirmed not doing it. Okay, very cool. Give me a death, please. I'll take that. So we know they have not drawn death. We know that for a fact. Blackagar Boltagon. Discard wave. Oh, shit, yes. Jesus Christ. Maybe I was supposed to snap that earlier. I was thinking about it. Then you have it. Yeah, I know. Big Iceman is back. I actually think the Big Iceman was the right play there. Oh, that's really bad. If they snap, I have to leave on that. Like, Bucky just wins that. My hand is really fucking good, though. Did not snap the Bucky. Like, don't get me wrong. My hand is actually berserk, but... Oh, I can actually pull that shit off. Let's pull that shit off while we still can. Or at least try, right? The killed Bucky also costs two. So we can pull it off of there. Okay, so we definitely do pull the Bucky off now, and we can just sit on the Shang-Chi, and we get their death, and we win the Muir Island as soon as we draw Shang-Chi, if we do. Yep. Yep. I should have put the Shuri in the Altar of Death, right? Still Squirrel Girl? Yeah. But this, the issue is this goes to 9 and then we can just fucking kill it. So we have to play around their arrow pulling us off of that by taking priority at some point if we can. Oh! Heinous! Goddamn! Don't do that. That's fucking, that's so fucking mean. Why? Fuck. That's so mean, dude. My guy's sniping for sure. No, he's just good. You're supposed to retreat those spots. He just fucking dunked on me. I don't think he's sniping. <laughs> Does Stature feel good with just Black Bolt? That's kind of what we're testing. Gotta figure that out. I would like one death, please. Please provide me with one death. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. I, I, I thank you. Yeah. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Well. I am dead as hell. But there is a chance he can't play any cards here. So there's a chance he doesn't know that I'm dead as hell. Does a sub get access to the Discord? Everyone gets access to the Discord. Exclamation point Discord. <laughs> we did it! We did it! Lizard, then we pull the Bucky. I'm actually, I'm super happy with that. I'm fine with it. Iceman, kind of annoying. Stature, the best possible target for an Iceman. Shang-Chi, the second best possible target for an Iceman. So we'll have priority for two turns here. Play Polaris now. Play White Queen now. And then we're just kind of setting up to arrow off of Sinister London if we can. We want Polaris to go left. Yeah. There we go. We want White Queen. I don't know where we want White Queen. Love getting the death there. Second death even if they ever even think about fucking waving. Oh my god, that's a Killmonger? Holy shit, let's go. I think they go for the both deaths now. That's my read. No! No! No, sir! Oh, fuck, they didn't go for both deaths now. Well, they went for one death. That's actually fair enough, right? Okay. So I have priority. Which is actually makes this a little bit risky, right? Okay, I guess he didn't think it was that risky. They should only have one death. Oh, right, only I have two. Oh, they're dead as shit. I completely miscalculated that. That was the exact correct thing to do then, right? Was just like to... Okay, we did it exactly correctly then. I actually have to ask him after the game if he's like jobbing. Is he doing this on purpose? Oh, no, he's here. We can just pump Sentinels into that forever if we want to. But really, I just want to pump a Sentinel into Black Bolt, I think. Okay, we'll pump a Shuri into Black Bolt. These are super bad locations for us. So the more shit we can get out of his hand, the better. Okay, we hit the Black Bolt. Stature again, fantastic versus Iceman. Bucky there. They're balling, okay. Oh my. I think I just have to snap that. Does Rex run Shang-Chi? I don't know. I haven't seen it. But hopefully if he has it, it gets fucking discarded. Oh, god damn it. Oh, is that going to be a Killmonger? Sure. I'm with it. Arrow's gone. Of 
We're gonna lose, aren't we? Because we have to beat this lane. He automatically wins this one. He does run Shang-Chi. Oh, fuck. We're definitely gonna lose. What you got? Is it a She-Hulk? It's a death. Very good for me. Okay. Now we have actual games to play. So they always play a death? I guess I can try to guess where it goes? I didn't want to double it because I didn't think it would ever actually be something worthwhile. So we can try to guess where it goes. It seems like a pure 50-50. Okay. Oh my god, wait, chat! Chat, we, we did this! We fucking did this! We played for this! We did it! Whoa! Let's go! This play played for exactly that. God damn! That's the best goddamn draws I've ever seen after having no cards in hand off a of Black Bolt. Shang-Chi, Death, She-Hulk. Fucking A. Hey, wait, this is a person. Let's go. We're gonna, uh, since we want to fill up the mid, probably we're gonna put the Iceman over here instead. I've never played this person before. IDK, try it. <laughs> what? Sabu could help our curve. It, at the very least, it might be scary. Do Shuri into Sandman? Wait, that, that sounds kind of messed up. Sounds a little messed up, honestly. Why do we face the same opponent time to time? My MMR is high as shit. It's very hard for me to play non- robots so like when one person gets up there it's actually like usually very good i'm gonna just do this give me the guy please give me my free bullshit yeah 10 power sandman but like you have to do it on five i'd rather cheat sandman out like wave into sandman electro into sandman those both seem strong to me other shit not so much haha <laughs> too late motherfucker all right, we got a Cerebro 2 gamer on our hands. We got a Cerebro 2 gamer on our hands. Then again, I'm a stature gamer, so what the fuck do I know, right? Like, I'm a stature gamer, so I, I don't know a goddamn thing. Oh, never mind. Just one of those, huh? All right. Let's uh, move this guy out. Go Shuri into Hella. Uh, um, what do we suppose is going to happen here? Sentinel White Queen. Steal the sunspot? I don't think so. The Jessica Jones gains eight anyway. Goes to eight anyway. Um, 
It's why we had to think about the White Queen. There's a decent chance if we lose New York by less than three, this is my fault, right? Because I was like, okay, this should be enough, but if it's not, this is on me. It was just enough, right? So, like, the read we were trying to make here was... Where does the Sentinel go? Where does the White Queen go? I think in retrospect, it was clearly incorrect to do what we did. It was clearly wrong to do this. So, like, where this goes versus where this goes. But, hey, we fucking, we beat another human. This is going on the video. <laughs> I gotta take the wins I can get. Uh, even if they are playing pool to control. <laughs> Oh, wow. Are they allowed to do that? Like, are they allowed to, like, swagger jack Maurice Sendak? Is that the guy's name? Like that? Same guy. Same fucking The Raft, right? I am simply going to do this. What just happened? I didn't see a Shang-Chi last time. How worried about a Shang-Chi should I be? I would say the answer is significantly. How worried about a Shang-Chi am I going to be? Not at all. Not at all. Not gonna be worried about it. Don't give a shit. You see Nimrod? Yeah, I look in the mirror every day. No. Um, yes, I have seen the card Nimrod. They're putting Rob Liefeld cap in the game. That will actually make me play cap. That will make me play Captain America if they put actual Rob Liefeld. Sam and Black Widow is good, right? Yeah. Yeah. See, that game, that time, I think they have the storm and they were thinking really hard about it, right? I am fairly certain I immediately win this game, but I'm not going to snap because I want footage for my YouTube video. Whoa. Well, that's the most useless piece of shit I've ever seen in my entire life. We're getting some goddamn points on this null, okay? We're getting some goddamn points on this null. This is actually not a useless null. He's going to get at least seven points. God damn it. He's going to do it. He's going to pop off here. We are. We are. Trying real hard. Also, I suppose if this becomes a tiebreaker game because of Rickety Bridge, Null actually serves as insurance in the event of... A yeah, we actually just win, right? If they Shang Chi the 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 White Queen, it the power just goes to the null. Does he absorb Hobgoblin? Unfortunately, he does. This is a snap. If I snap, they're gonna leave. And I want to put this game on my YouTube, so I can't snap this. I'm not allowed to. And play Doom to grow null. I'm doing that. Like, this is happening here. We're farming clips. Whiskey Jack CFL with the Prime sub. Thank you so much for your Prime sub, Whiskey Jack. Damn, we're getting dangerously close to me having to shave. Is it ever Polaris Lizard instead? In real life, I would think about it. I'm not thinking about it now. 
Especially since we got this Doctor Doom from their thing, so I would kind of expect them to play a Doctor Doom. Let's go, Null! Let's go, baby. Let's go! More power on the Null! That's, that's, that's the real goal here. I got it, I got it. This is like, this is like one of the coolest things that's ever happened in my stream is like, we actually hit someone with like the talk shit post fit and then they posted the fit and it was awesome. I was blown away. They're bagels. Uh, it's called... Here, I'll put it in the chat. Oh my god. We're doing it. Yeah, like, it was so insane that this person actually had, like, like, he's, like, he's calling D-Money out for making joke raps, and it's like, all right, post, post fit, and then he did, and it was, like, what the fuck? Do we even need to play the Black, black Bolt here? Like, they're clearly gonna play a discard card, right? Whatever. I'm so happy. Let's go! Oh my god. Wait, no. Let's not go. Let's not go! Do we win the Daily Bugle? Fuck, I didn't do the math. We tie, and then we win the tiebreaker by one? Let's go. That's the shit we love to see. That's outstanding. 